Five authorities have identified that 17 year old boy killed overnight in a police pursuit. He was Jamillion Brown of Milwaukee. Police say officers were chasing a stolen car. Nine other people involved in that crash were hurt. Mary Jo Ola has the story. Here at Silver Spring and 68th in Milwaukee, you can see some of the debris left behind after Sunday night's crash, including what appears to be the rear window of one of those cars. Now, Milwaukee police say that 17 year old who was killed was one of several people inside the stolen vehicle. Silver Spring for the auto extrication with multiple victims. First responders flooded the area by Silver Spring and 68th Street in Milwaukee just before 1130 Sunday night. Milwaukee police say that's where a stolen car packed with eight people, including multiple teenagers, crashed into another car that had two women inside. Nine people were injured and taken to local hospitals. You heard a boom and a pop. And when you look off your bathroom, all you see was smoke and, and you know people was hurt. So by the time we got down, one car was on fire. MPD says the stolen car was tied to a recent armed robbery. Officers first tried to stop them near 51st and Hampton, a couple miles away. When they didn't pull over, police began a pursuit. 17-year-old Jamillion Brown was among them and died at the scene. It hurt it made me want to cry because one was hanging out the car and then they busting out when it's trying to get the rest of them. It, it shouldn't go like that. Tammy Turner lives near the intersection. She says she could hear a car speeding before the impact. When she got outside, she saw officers running out of the nearby District 4 police station to respond. Cell phone video from another neighbor shows more than a dozen first responders at the scene. We got to do better and think better. Police say charges for the teens inside of the stolen car are pending review by the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. Stop robbing, stop, stop stealing cars because your mothers and parents got to bury everybody. My heart go out to the other families. Deeply go out to the other family because it shouldn't have happened like it happened. Mary Jo Ola, TMJ4 News. Within the past year, Milwaukee police records show 11 people have been killed in police pursuits. That's more than any other year dating back to at least 2007. Milwaukee police has seen a spike in pursuit deaths since its policy changed in 2017. That once again led officers chase vehicles involved in reckless driving or mobile drug trafficking offenses. The mother of a man killed by a driver fleeing police back in January is called against city leaders to put more restrictions on pursuits. It's a lot to lose, not just for me, but for all the other 10 families that lost their loved one, whatever circumstances. I mean, life cannot be replaced. On TMJ4 News at 6, Ben Jordan in depth on police pursuit deaths and whether Mayor Johnson thinks the current policy needs to be revised.